MCP may seem really scary at first, but really all it is is a protocol for communicating between a client and a server. Now MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and this protocol is really meant more for communicating between an AI client and some type of server so that the AI can perform certain actions on that server or get certain pieces of data. Now this is really no more complicated than traditional protocols that you're probably already used to, such as a REST API or a GraphQL API. These are just protocols that notify how the client needs to communicate with the server and how the server sends back information to that client. So it's just a way so that the client and server know how to communicate with each other. That's all MCP is, is a way for the client and the server to communicate to do various different things. Now inside of an MCP server, you're generally going to have these four different things. For the most part, tools and resources are the main two things that you're going to have in almost every single MCP server, but prompts and samplings are other things part of the protocol that you may have, but they're much more niche. Now we'll start by talking about resources because this is generally the most simple to understand, and a resource is just a list of information that you have on your server that the AI can access for further information. For example, this could be a list of things inside of a database. If you have a database of users, this would be that information. Or it could be like your file system, all the different files you have available on your computer. Resources are just anything of data that you have on your server that you want to be able to give access to the client that is actually calling to your server. And the nice thing about this MCP protocol is that the client can easily call the server to figure out what all the resources, tools, prompts, and samplings that are available are. So you can just say, give me all the resources, and it'll say, here's all the resources we have available, which one do you actually want to get data from? Same thing with tools and so on. So resources is just a list of all the data you have. Tools, on the other hand, are things that are actions you can perform. For example, if you wanted to save information in a database, you would create a tool that allows the AI to do that. And then the AI that is calling your server will say, hey, I want to call the tool that creates a record in your database. It'll tell the tool the information, and then the tool will perform that action on your server. So this just gives a way for AIs to perform actions on your server through these use of tools. Now prompts are a way for you to essentially have a lot of pre-filled prompts that you can send down to the client that essentially have a lot of information already built into them. So it's just a pre-filled prompt for the most part. And samplings is a way for your server to ask the AI to do something for it. So essentially it's the opposite of a tool or resources because now the server is telling the AI, hey, give me some information. I need that to perform some specific task. Now, obviously in this short video, I can't go super in depth. So if you wanna learn more about this as well as how to create your own server and client, I'm gonna link a full video at the bottom of the screen that goes over all of that.